For those of you who don't know, after the rapture, the tribulation will set in, which is a period of seven years. And then it, the seven years is divided into three and a half years. Two, three and a half years. After the first three and a half years, the covenant will be broken. And then you will have the great tribulation. The great tribulation that will be so unbearable for the second three and a half years. And then immediately after the tribulation of those days, Matthew 24 verse 29, there will be signs in the sky. The, the, the sign of the Son of Man will appear. And all nations will see him and will before him because of him. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. All nations we were only a few that came out of the great tribulation. We go and be with the Lord. And then after the coming, second coming of the Lord, there will be the millennium reign of Christ. I don't know where these people who talk about um, post-tribulation rapture. I don't know where they got their idea from. Because when the Lord returns, there will be the millennial reign. Satan will be bound for 1,000 years. And then after that 1,000 years of the physical reign of Christ from Israel, from Jerusalem, Satan will be loose again. So I don't know where this idea of post-tribulation is coming from. Immediately after the tribulation, the second coming will take place. The rapture takes place before the tribulation. The church will be taken away, which is what hinders it. It is the church, the presence of the church that hinders the revelation of the man of sin. After the church is taken away, the Antichrist will be revealed. And when his seven years is complete, is fulfilled, the Lord Jesus Christ will come again, which is his second coming. And then the 1000 reign of Christ on earth. Then Satan will be released again after that 1000 years. And then he will gather the whole world together. He will go to the battle of Armageddon. And then Jesus will come and destroy him with the word of his, the sword of his mouth. It's not actually a battle because he will be consumed. There will be no fight. No fight with swords or with bomb. No, it won't be like that. He will just be consumed. And then the great judgment, the great judgment throne will be put in place. So don't get deceived. Don't get carried away. There is urgent need for us to get prepared.